my name is Sarah Rango, and today I'm going to be guiding you through another one of my absolute favorite recipes. This recipe is a one pan meal and only takes about 20 minutes start to finish, so it's perfect for a weeknight meal. This one is a chicken and asparagus meal that absolutely everybody in my family loves, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so step one for this is gather all of your ingredients. So for this recipe we'll need three chicken breasts, some olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, chicken stock, mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, and asparagus. Next step is you want to pound your chicken breasts to an even thickness. And the thinner you pound these, the quicker they will cook. It also helps if you wrap these in plastic wrap or if they come in a prepackaged seal to leave them in to control the mess a little bit. Once they're nice and even, you'll want to go ahead and open the chicken breasts, trim them if you need to, and dry each side with a paper towel. Once they are cleaned and dry, go ahead and season with olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Once it's seasoned, you'll put it straight into a hot pan coated with about a tablespoon of olive oil, and you'll cook each chicken breast for three minutes per side. minutes have passed, go ahead and flip your chicken breasts and let it cook an additional three minutes. Once the six minutes have passed, if the chicken breasts are not cooked on the inside, continue flipping every minute until they're fully cooked. Once your chicken breasts are fully cooked, go ahead and check the inside, make sure it is white and pull them out of the pan and transfer them to a clean plate. Deglaze the pan with some chicken stock and add in asparagus, mushrooms, and cherry tomatoes. Cover and simmer for five to eight minutes or until the vegetables are tender. Once the vegetables are tender, add in the cooked chicken breasts just to reheat for an additional one or two minutes. And there you have it, a one pan meal that takes less than 20 minutes to prepare. Enjoy! All right, you guys, well, that is it for today's episode of Love the Arangos. I hope that you love this recipe just as much as we do. If you enjoyed this recipe and want to see more videos like this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss another one of my recipes or workout videos.